Hi, hola, welcome back to Witches of the Moon. I'm the Humble Apprentice. I am your Friday host. This is season 13, week 14. And this week's topic is incorporating non-witchy beliefs into our practice. I come from non-witchy beliefs into the practice of witchcraft. I started off with crystals and herbs, um, meditation, and breath control through yoga, hatha yoga. And then um, I started working with essential oils. And then after I had my third eye opened, um, accidentally through acupuncture, my psychic abilities began to grow or at least I was able to notice them you know um, sometimes instead of like a little tap on the shoulder it's more like a knock <laughs> it's intense it's um, it's this need to do what your intuition is is telling you to so that was the um beginning of my psychic development working with herbs and crystals um, and aromatherapy and uh, flower essences and tinctures led to me finding out that well I could make those um, that's I think were the craft part of my spiritual practice began uh, taking control of and creating the healing um, elements that I was using like um, affecting my energy field through the use of incense and herbs and uh, sprays and um, creating the jewelry with the crystals that I needed for the energy that I was trying to raise I guess incorporating non-witchy ideas and um practices into the craft it means it's 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 necessary I, and I think it's indispensable because for instance um, if you work with crystal grids working with geometry you know and, and that includes math I mean it's necessary um, while writing your spells if you know anything about uh, writing poetry that really helps in um, making the spell flow and helping the energy move through the words that you're speaking knowing how to garden <laughs> you know I mean it's great if you have a, even like a little um, porch where you can have some plants um, knowing how to help them grow any kind of creative class that you've taken that brings you a, a feeling of joy that you um, feel enriches your life you can find ways to incorporate them into your practice um, uh, photography I mean photography is very impactful and in your book of shadows um, putting photographs that you've taken of plants that you've seen in in real life that you've stood with i think that it really helps you connect the plant to the properties that they have there are so many things that we don't um, consider witchy that enrich our practice and can make it 
more useful and handy and give our craft uh, greater depth because we relate it to our daily lives. It's not something that we do separately from our life. It's something that we incorporate it into and we think about um, all the time. What are you going to plant in your garden that you can also use in your practice? What kind of plants and herbs are already there that you might be able to incorporate into your oils, um, into your incense, you know, if you make um, any of those, you know, if there is a class that you can take on something, you can find a way to incorporate it into your practice. Uh, because it is, it's a way of life. <laughs> it becomes not separate from you, but a part of your life. I was taken to the path of the craft through the practices of working with energy and working, um, with the esoteric wisdom that exists all around us. And I think the craft is a way to just bring all of those practices together, at least for me. I love meditations and I love the health benefits of yoga, but it just wasn't the spiritual path that I was looking for. I love Reiki and energy work, but alone, it's not the path um, that I can follow without the enrichment of all of the other elements that I work with in the craft. For me, the craft is a layering of different ways to work with magic and the energy of the universe. Thank you for watching. I hope that um, my experience has shown you different ways to work with non-witchy um, paths or experiences or ideas and incorporate them into your practice. Have a good evening, have a great weekend, and blessed be.